man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. We got something for him, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Camera right there, man. AC? AC, man. Yeah, man. So I'm, about to, I'm about to show him, you know, what good pressure reading. Right, right. When the right. AC working good. I make sure it's cool, you know. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. Jamaica hot. Yeah. Yeah, cool. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alright, that was my man Dre. So, Leak Auto Repair, got a video for y'all. I'm gonna show y'all, um, well, the title of the video is gonna be What Are Good Pressure Readings When AC Is Working Good? And basically, what I go by, Leak Auto Repair Judgment. And you can use this um, as a guide for when you, you are recharging your uh, AC. I'm not gonna steer you wrong, you can trust me. Alright, so what I got right here is my manifold gauge setup, got this from Harbor Freights. Uh, it can be purchased, I think, less than 100 bucks. And last time I remember, I bought these two years ago, were like 80 bucks or 90 bucks. Cool. So, I'm um, going to hook them up to the service ports, and the AC is probably charged. I put uh, a used compressor in there, put new oil in there, um, vacuum it out real good, and um, recharged it, got it good. And let me show y'all what good pressure readings to go by. All right, give me a minute. I'm going to hook up these uh, gauges real quick. Remember, this shit is dummy proof. So, high side, low side, cold, hot. Just like at your faucet, you can't mess up, right? I should have said effed up, right? I, I caught myself. Give me a clap. I should get a like for that, right? All right, cool. So, dummy proof. So, I'm going to hook up. Make sure these valves are uh, closed um, all the way to the left. So, locking pad. We know about that. Make sure it's in right. And I know I got a shitty camera angle, but just bear with me. Um, come on. Cool. And next, make sure your gauges are zeroed out. That's what I'll show you in a second. But when I say zeroed out, make sure there is no pressure on both sides. And we can go from there. So let me grab the camera. All right. So now I'm at zero. As we can see. Let me. We can see I'm at zero. All right, cool. So now I'm gonna open up the valves. And as I open up the valves, you should see a movement in the uh, gauges. My gauges are kind of backwards, but let me see if I can. You should be able to work with this. So I'm gonna open up the high side. All right. Okay, cool. So what you see right there, um, pressures on both sides should um, kind of be equal. It'll even out because the low side is still going out, so it should give you ambient temp amb ambient temperature close, maybe within a few degrees high or a few degrees low or whatever. It should be close, but the low side is going up slowly, but the high side is already ready to go, so they should be almost equal, but not exactly, and that is your ambient temperature or static pressure or whatever the hell they call it, but this is what it should look like on a good working compressor. So next, I'm going to turn on the car, turn on the AC button and the gauges should jump and it should give me what the pressure is actually putting out uh what the compressor is putting out when it's on all right so i already got the ac button on turn it off um, i got it on max turn it off on cool whatever is on high everything cool everything chill so walk over to the gauges and this is what you see right here, right? So let me zoom up close. This is my crappy Go, GoPro, but I hope you can see or let me. All right, you see this right there? Low side reading, 30 is good. This is on 30. And like I said, you want to between 20 and 50. Now your high side, this is the important side because I use the high side when I'm recharging the car. I recharge it on from the low side, but I only pay attention to the high side. Now you see, this gauge, is, you're always going to see some type of fluctuation on the high side. Very rare on the, on the low side, but this is cool. This is a used compressor, but whatever. See how I stay without? Whatever. Okay, cool. So now this is a little bit above 150, and this is a small compressor. And you could go by weight. This didn't have a label for me to go by. I went by my own readings. High side, I go by between 150 and 300. But this is a little two-cylinder car. This is a 2002 Mitsubishi Lancer, the uh, OZ Rally Edition, I guess that's what it's called. The one from Need for Speed. Like like this comment, uh, like this video if you ever had that on the first Need for Speed. That was your first car you used to, to, to hook up and that, that was because that was my car. So I know that was irrelevant. So let's get back. So you want to be between 150 and 300 and some cars, most cars, 
like I said, a little bit bigger engines like V6s or they're 2.5 liters, whatever. V8s, always between 200 and 250. I never had to really go over 250 before. Maybe trucks or something big or maybe cars that got multiple compressors or something may take up to 300 or more. I don't know, but I always go between 150 and 300, but I never go past 250. Now I'm at 150 or a little bit over. And like I said, now this one balanced out to a little bit under. 30 but either way i'm in range and plus let me face the camera around you want to gauge what well, no i'm sorry you want to make sure at least your your line is cold see this line is cold not all cars lines get cold until after it hits the evaporator but this system it's a basic system and this line is cold this line is sweating look underneath your car see if you're dripping water you know your evaporator is getting cold when it's dripping water your hot side line should be warm not hot Okay, probably hotter when you get closer to the condenser, but in the car. Check inside of your car. I know the audio is probably shitty right now, but the air is cold, air is nice. Got the recirculation door closed, because that'll give you maximum AC. Got the door open or whatever, but overall, this shit is good. So let me put this down. That's all I wanted to show you on this video. Uh, probably not pointless uh, to probably pointless the most but it's a good video whatever for people who not sure um, what pressures to go by when you no know, the compressor is working good or when you recharge in the AC I pretty much just gave you the answers right there so that's that uh, leak auto repair I'm tired I'm beat I'm hungry I can't even think straight right now uh, it's like really hot to Philly and like humid too. So, um, I'm done talking. Leak auto repair, subscribe, whatever, leave a comment. Thanks.